Hello, you all. You already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our LLM would like us to know at this time. So let's see. Sorry, y'all. You... Well, I ain't really sorry, but <laughs> your girl been getting her rest. And your girl been trying not to tell certain individuals and energies of what's in store. <laughs> but y'all, I still been doing readings. But the information and the um whew, the information and the things that people was doing and having going on. Woo wee woo 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 That's <laughs> We got the Ace of Cups. Ooh. We got the Ace of Cups to the Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Somebody could be deciding. Somebody could be thinking about their future, like what they want to do with their future as far as love. As far as children, somebody is thinking, you know, somebody wants to make the smart decision on whatever they decide to do moving forward, like whoever they want to travel towards. Because this person don't want to, this person trying to be smart or who they get a water to, who they give substance to, who they share with, because this person could have experienced some sort of heartbreak before. This person experienced hurt from low vibrational men or, you know, women if they in masculine energy. Um, this person experienced heartbreak from cruel people who just wanted to be cruel, you know, to them. So this person is deciding, you know, which path they want to take, how they want to move forward. Some, something could have made somebody a little cold, too, with this Queen of Swords coming out. But this person still has the Ace of Cups. Like, they have um, still have overflowing love. So it didn't do anything to their heart. This person is just being more smarter on who they choose to deal with, who they choose to, you know, mess with. They don't want to mess with nobody that's low vibrational, nobody that's cruel, nobody that's a cheater, nobody that's materialistic. Nobody didn't want to try to bind them down. Nobody didn't want to try to hurt them. Nobody that wants to be, you know, separated from them. This is not what this person wants. They, they will walk away. Here go the Eight of Cups. They'll walk away. So, oh, okay. So what I'm also seeing, let me put this out because I got to show y'all what I'm also seeing. Yeah, this person will walk away from that shit. They ain't fucking with it. So, with low vibrational men or low vibrational masculine women, and this could be whether any type of relationship, I'm going to just put that out there. Because this person, this person is chosen, right? This These people or this man is trying to make this person go against what they're laying down, the foundation and the decisions that they're making. Somebody is doing magic. To try to manipulate somebody and make them go against them standing on business. Basically, this is somebody that's standing on business. They don't want no bullshit. <laughs> that's what it looked like. If somebody is trying to manipulate them to lead that type of mindset out in the motherfucking code. And it's just so crazy. People need to leave people the fuck alone. See? Whoever doing this to this person, you're exactly what the fuck they don't want. You're exactly why they standing on business. Because you ain't nothing but a manipulative asshole to want somebody to go against their newness. Because this page of wands is good news. Spiritual renewal. For you to want somebody to go against them being whole. Because that's also with the magician, this person is whole. And somebody wants somebody to leave their magic, their new beginning, their manifestations out in the fucking cold. That's an asshole. Don't nobody want nobody like that. So fuck, you should be embarrassed. 
the fuck you 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 should be you should be ashamed of your motherfucking self so instead of you stepping up to the plate and doing better and changing your low vibrational ass ways you want to what you want somebody else to leave a fucking renewal out in the cold you want somebody else to go against themselves to fuck with you who the fuck is you Excuse me, y'all, but I'm just like, what the fuck? This is a motherfucking fool. Thoughtless and careless only care about they self. Because this person only care about what they want. So you ain't you ain't the type of person that this person want or need because you don't care about them. You only care about what the fuck you want. You're selfish as hell. This is somebody that somebody could have ended something with. To the death, we got the lovers. This could be somebody you had a sexual connection with. Or if you haven't, this is somebody that want one with you or something like that. But it's just like, go ahead, leave people alone. <laughs> people be crazy. I'm telling you, somebody is trying to confuse somebody. And send them illusions. They want somebody to be delusional. <laughs> a delusional hoe. They don't want you to be able to see. They want to blind you. So that you can give to them. And don't do it. Because if you do give to them, your ass going to wind up pregnant. And they're going to feel like they got a fucking victory over your ass. They trying to put a baby in you. And then that way, if they put a baby in you regardless of how you move, they can still have access to you because you carry in a child. <laughs> Motherfuckers, ew. I'm telling you, they trying to put a burden on you. Labor. To the ones, they want you to go through labor. <laughs> I'm telling you, they want you, they trying to make you a mommy. It's something about your loyalty here. This person admire how you love, how loyal you are. This person admire you, and this person trying to have you. Here, here you go, and with your kid. <laughs> Ooh, you better protect yourself. Four swords. <laughs> you gotta protect yourself, honey. And then I just want to point out the fact that you come, you came out here as all these queens, but. The Queen of Pentacles ain't showed up because this motherfucker ain't trying to make you no wife. This motherfucker just need to have a tower attachment to your ass because you too much of a standing on business. So you got to protect yourself from this person plan. I'm telling you. This person manipulative. <laughs> this man is manipulative. And I'm telling you the truth. This ain't about love. This is about possession. This person hope trying to hold on tight to your ass. And if they got to put a baby in you, that's what the fuck they going to do. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't fall for it. Ain't going to be sunshines and rainbows. This is possession. They could be trying to hold on to your energy or, or you may, or they could be trying to hold on to you. Cause you, you, you are like the sun's in the cups. You give somebody love and peace and joy and healing. Like, you make them happy. Possibly even make them laugh, but this person missed the opportunity with you. Yeah, four of cups, they lost you. Being selfish, trying to satisfy their own wish fulfillment and needs. They lost their wish fulfillment. Nine of cups, five of cups. All these cups. So this is, this is like somebody could be in their feelings about whatever this is. Don't do it. Because they missed the opportunity with you. You could be single. They could have broke your heart. So they trying to get in where they fit in. But like I told you, I don't see no higher level of commitment. The higher fine ain't out here. Um, the queen of pentacles ain't out here. You know, pregnancy out here, though. Get your ass pregnant. <laughs> like, hell nah. 
the, 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 the ace of pentacles ain't out here. There's no security out here. It's cups, you know. Shit moving, shit not set in stone. Let me get the uh where am I, I ain't use my moon deck in a long ass time. Where is that at? That's what's on my mind. Moon deck. So this person trying to have some leeway in your life by shoot, they gonna impregnate your ass and then where you gonna go? Like I mean, that's this person's mindset. You can still go, but why put yourself through all of that? You will want somebody who wants to give you security where something is a sure thing. I ain't even got to tell you that because whoever you are, that's what you're standing on business about. You you want an emperor. You don't want somebody that's going to hurt you. You don't want somebody low vibrational. You escaping all of that shit. You could even want somebody that's chosen like yourself with this page of wands. You want somebody that's going to bring you some good news. Not no sad, bad news. Don't want no fucking bad news. And that's all whoever this is. That's all they're going to give you. Because it ain't no... They just trying to... The only thing in their mind is I need to hold on to this person. This person make me happy. It's giving, this woman makes me happy. I love her. I want a happy family with her. I want joy, peace, and healing with her. But damn, I just can't get right. <laughs> but damn, I love the low vibrational shit. But damn, I'm toxic. That's what it's giving. Like, I'm not saying that this person is just trying to do this to intentionally hurt you. That's not what I'm getting. It's just, I'm getting selfish, selfish ass lover, wanting to be possessive. You know what I'm saying? Because you do bring this person joy. But it's like, this person going to disappoint you because they're selfish. Selfish. Or they could have already disappointed you because they selfish. Shit. This person is selfish as hell. Because they only thinking about themselves even now. Instead of saying, damn, that's what's up. She didn't awaken to decide on what she wants. And she didn't renew herself. She's standing on business. You know what I'm saying? She taking action to become whole. She leaving bullshit out in the cold. She got her innocence. She didn't, she didn't transform. She got a higher consciousness. Damn, she fine. Damn. Oh, I see what the fuck going on. Okay, I see what the fuck going on. Damn, she's sexy as fuck. This motherfucker got options. This motherfucker is trying to block that shit out. So if this person get with you, get you pregnant, you there. They could block, they could cock block. <laughs> they can cock block. They don't, they want to block because there could be some people that's within your community or, they, or there could be some people they want to give to you. And this person trying to block that shit out. This person could even be trying to block you somehow. Because they don't want you to have these options and these possibilities. Shit, they don't want somebody else to see you as they empress and try to get a victory in a new life with you. They're stressed and burdened about that. And shit, if you pop up pregnant with a kid, oh. <laughs> okay, this motherfucker scared. Confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker scared. So 
so this man has formulated a plan, and I'm telling you, you're going to have a breakthrough with this, but this man been trying to hold you back, create your happiness and shit, wanting you to miss opportunities. This motherfucker wants you to stay single and sad. <laughs> this person wants you to stay single and sad. <laughs> that shit ain't funny. That's fucked up, but it don't matter what the fuck they want because, look, a new romantic cycle begins. And that's the Ace of Cups, your beginning. I'm telling you. So it don't matter. This person can't get in the way of that. <laughs> this, this motherfucking cock blocker. <laughs> oh, shit. But anyway, a new romantic cycle begins for you anyway. It don't matter. This person can't do nothing. This shit gonna balance out how, how it's going. That motherfucker will get eclipsed out. Because that's what that look like. Yeah, luck is on your side. Honey. Luck is on your side. Yep, you are safe and your loved ones are safe. So you safe to have love and new love. And then we have here a time to give rather than take. So you're a giver because this came out in reverse. It's time for you to receive, honey. It's time for you to receive. This person selfish as hell. Yeah, you are good enough. It's time for you to receive. And then y'all could just, you know, do the roles how y'all want to do them. If, if this could be a, a a woman doing this to a man, a man doing this to a woman, but it looked like a man doing this to a woman, though. <laughs> yep, you are good enough. Prosperity lies ahead for you. Believe in the impossible. Expect a look. Expect powerful change. I'm telling you, hold your vision. If you want something that's better for you, hold your vision because you can end up you can end up having that. Expect a powerful change. Hold your vision. Hold what you want. Your vision. The two of wands. What you see for yourself. What kind of opportunities you want. So it looks like you're somebody who wants new love. It's look, it looks like you're somebody who wants family. You want something healing. You want something peaceful. You know what I'm saying? You want something fun. You don't want no bullshit. And that's what's up. You're entitled to that. New moon, full moon, the eclipse. Somebody can have a fixed moon. We got moon in Virgo, moon in Libra, moon in Taurus, moon in Sagittarius, moon in Cancer, moon in Aries. It's time for you to take action. Yeah, you're very close to achieving your goal and whatever you want. Somebody got a fixed moon, Aries moon, Libra moon, Sagittarius moon, Cancer moon, Taurus moon, Virgo moon. This could be you or this person is doing this to you or people. Because remember in the beginning, I did mention people. And this could be, you know, multiple type of relationships. But I am seeing like a love relationship. But we have here a personal issue is going to be resolved. So there's these issues is going to be resolved. Somebody could have been born under a new moon, full moon. Somebody could have a, a waxing crescent moon. Yeah, a win-win outcome is in the forecast for you. So this person ain't going to be able to block that, like. And it is just so crazy because if somebody wants you that bad to where they doing all of that shit, like, why not just, 
do what the fuck you need to do. Like, that shit weird. This person like, hell nah. <laughs> Like, it could be people that want to have equal give and take with you, and this motherfucker, like, what? No. <laughs> no. We have music that could be significant. Like, yeah, people could want to blow a bag on you, want you to spoil them too. It's about how you love yourself. Somebody loves the way you love yourself. Romance could be needed for you at this time. Somebody could want to. You might need something a little rough, sexual from time to time, aggressive from time to time, romantic from time to time. Somebody, um, you could be dreaming of somebody or somebody wants to want you to dream of them. Somebody wants anniversaries with you. Sex on the beach, sex in the park, sex in the car, playing, movie, public sex, sneaky sex. Also, somebody feel like they can't let you get away. You're everything. Somebody want to do role play with you. And then we got spiritual love. Family gatherings, food, movies, card games, love, love making. Somebody passion has ignited for somebody. And this could be, these could be like these oracles that came out. These could be like for what this person got on their mind. These could be some things that you want. Um, these could be even things that, you know, could come up for you with, you know, people wanting to give to you. <laughs> well, we have love letters and telepathy, right? And in many ways to connect other than the physical. So you want something that's on another level. You you want a, you know, a spiritual connection. You want something soulful. Um, and also, somebody feel like, I'm telling you, somebody could feel like, yeah, they might not can connect with you physically, but they could telepathically connect with you and communicate to you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Somebody. <laughs> I'm going to get you some love, oracles, and then we're going to wrap this up. Somebody silly. All right, so we named um, the moon signs. And then somebody could have... Water out here heavy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio out here. It used to be somebody's sun signs. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Capricorn. Those are signs I see. Could be your sign or they sign. So just watch out. <laughs> so let's see. I'm oh. Yeah, you ain't, listen, toxicity in reverse. You don't want nothing toxic. You don't want to be bound down to no bullshit patterns. You didn't heal. Forgiveness and heal. You didn't got healed and you ain't on no toxic shit. That flew out right in reverse. Like, listen, you standing on business. Even how these cars is flying out. I'm telling you. We have chemistry and passion. You want chemistry, passion. You want laughter. You want something soulful, like laughter shared between soulmates warms the spirit in, in a way that no folk could. 
we have reunion here. So somebody could want some type of reunion with you too. You could be you, but you could be in ice mode. I'm telling you, you ain't playing. You mean business. And somebody could be trying against you to go against your meaning business. Somebody could even be trying to tie themselves to you. You want deeper intimacy. Or you don't have no problem with being free and single. Shit, you want closeness. You want to feel safe in love. You want to feel connected. Or you don't mind being single and free. And like, and I don't blame you. And I'm telling you, be be aware because we got action, right? Family, right? Family and commitment. And then short term, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody trying to take some fast ass action, form a motherfucking family and commitment, and then ending. Like, no, trying to break your motherfucking heart. If this person, you want true love, you want an honest connection, you want pure love, you didn't change, okay? You didn't change. You didn't transform. You want something else. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you didn't did the healing. And somebody is trying to control your ass. And they still in their comfort zone. South, no, stop. Red flags. I'm trying to tell you. This is a soulmate. Or this person is even trying to stop soulmates and other connections for from coming towards you this person don't want you to have no great connection or this is somebody that you didn't you know distance yourself from and you've been having gratitude and and been you know present that you did for fucking retreated yeah you might have to resist this man we got young man, ice king. Because this motherfucker code. Y'all could have been fated to be together, but there's some detours. This motherfucker need to grow the fuck up. This motherfucker need to grow the fuck up. This person wants you to be patient and shit. Very soon they'll give you all that you want. They want you to have faith in them, but... They dealing with third parties and having passion with other people and deceptive and always tempted and shit. No. Then be trying to project some shit onto you to blind your ass from what's really the truth, what's really going on. Then try to project you to blind you from you not enjoying your damn self. Yeah, you got to watch out. This person in the way. <laughs> whoever this man is his ass is in the way watch out because somebody could want to communicate here watch out cock blocking ass this person been spying on you too investigating there's a there's somebody that's been spying and watching you investigating you somebody could be a confirmation somebody could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius somebody could want to take accountability this person could be going through some type of dark night of the soul. This person was in, they, they want to take accountability for, for being in a shadow side against you or something. You freeze yourself for whatever this is. This person been longing for you. You freeze yourself from this person. And whatever this separation is here, this person has been longing for you. You could be a young female, too. Or you could just be youthful if you're not a young female. This person feared change and tried to dominate your ass. Maybe even in your dreams. And, like I said, projecting thoughts on you, too. Somebody been trying to get a serious relationship out of somebody, but they low vibrational as fuck. You're free. You're free from this shit. I'm telling you. You are free from this shit. Yeah, you, 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 
decided to take care of yourself or somebody could have got into a serious relationship or um or somebody was with somebody and they just spying and shit like that too that could be another thing somebody could have been dealing with somebody that they have to take accountability for who they was dealing with because they was in a shadow side. Somebody dealt with a Leo Aries Sagittarius and this motherfucker been spying on you. So you freed yourself from this connection. This is separation here. Somebody feel like somebody want to try to take a final shot with you though. Final shot. The clock is ticking. You didn't grow spiritually, though. You expanded your soul. You connected to your higher self, and you listened to your higher self. There's something about the autumn here that can be significant. You wise. You are, you're very wise. And I'm telling you, watch out for this passion, because if you if you deal with this person, I'm telling you, you're going to get pregnant and end up having a child. This person could even be doing some alchemy to make sure that shit. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. We got separation. Or, ooh, somebody could have did some alchemy. If this person got a child already, somebody did some alchemy to cause some sort of separation, too. Possibly in the past. A past love did some alchemy to cause some sort of separation. Yep, somebody was focused. Somebody was focused on doing some bullshit. But I'm telling you, somebody want to have a reunion with you, a Venus love offer. We got karma. That could be somebody karma for doing something to separate you two in the first place. Two. Somebody could be thinking about somebody. Some memories is coming back out. But I just, just be careful. Because this person, there's deception, there's lies. Just be careful, Divine Feminine. Here you go. You already didn't transcend it here. And somebody might try to confuse you with pleasure. You've been manifesting your perfect match. If somebody could smell that shit. Also, there's some type of confusion and illusions with a pregnancy here or somebody tried to cause some sort of confusion about somebody could have said that they was pregnant or some shit like that or somebody could have been. So there's some type of lack, doubt here. This man regrets whatever this is. This person feel rejected and lost. Because this person messed up a sacred bond that y'all had between each other. This was an enchanted love that this man messed with. Uh, for some of y'all, it could be multiple men. But you, you didn't did the healing that you needed to do so that you can recognize what's what. So that's something to be grateful for. Just keep your eyes open. That's all. Warning message. That's what I'm going to put. Warning. Stay on. If somebody don't give you what you want, you stand on business. Regardless. You know, you got free will to do whatever you want to do. But if somebody is not fulfilling your needs, you stand on business. If somebody being shady and just trying to trap you and tie you down to them no you stand on business because that's not fair and i'm only saying that because you did the healing you didn't forgave you didn't broke toxic patterns and shit like that you know off of yourself for your own ways you know what i'm saying and that take a lot to even do
one of these men could possibly be doing that to themselves, but just keep your eyes open. <laughs> Y'all know what I be saying. Stay woke. Niggas creeping. They gonna find you and catch you sleeping. Ooh, stay woke. Shoot, trying to catch you slipping. <laughs> <laughs> we got here. Hey, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be filled with joy, always thanking Yahweh. Give thanks to Yahweh and proclaim his greatness. Yahweh upholds all those who fall. Yahweh has heard my supplication. Yahweh will receive my prayer. And then we have here. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Yahweh. Make me dwell in safety. So, you know, always pray upon your decisions, uh, pray for protection, you know, pray for people, true intentions and stuff to be revealed. It'll get revealed to you. And when you see it, you better go on and get your head out, <laughs> go on and get your head out the way if it's something that's not to your liking or to your standard. Because this given that somebody was also, somebody could have also even been dealing with somebody else, but trying to cock block you. You know what I'm saying? Don't want you dealing with anybody. Blocking out lovers for you and shit. And they doing their own damn thing. You know? So just be mindful. But I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.